Are you a real estate agent, realtor, investor, or are you in the real estate business and you need new listings and deals? We have a solution for you, and that solution has guaranteed results. How much would you pay to get face-to-face -face with a homeowner that wants to sell their home? What if you also got their email address and daytime phone number? And what if this homeowner also scheduled you to come to their door at a set time to meet with you? Sound too good to be true? It isn't. And it is 100% guaranteed for you to meet face-to-face -face with a real homeowner who really needs to sell their home. Not only will you get this remarkable contact system and it's 100% guarantee, at no additional charge, you will get weekly coaching, documents, and training on how to get that homeowner and convert them into a new listing. When you purchase, you'll also get a one-on-one -on -one walkthrough so that you can start using the system today. Visit www.thelistingmonster.com. That's www.thelistingmonster.com. Or call Diana Ortiz at 213-706-0040. Stop wasting time the old way. Use a monster and get actual results today. Welcome to the Hanish Report, hosted by Lee Hanish. The Hanish Report is a look at the real estate market and creating effective marketing plans for realtors or investors to get new listings and deals. Your host, Lee Hanish, has over 20 years of experience in real estate, banking, and marketing. Over the last six years, Lee has developed cutting-edge marketing and was named one of the most innovative marketers in America. With over 1 million views, Lee continues to be an advocate for the entire real estate community. Enjoy today's show. We're live. Four immutable laws of marketing. Number one, step by step easy. And here's why, okay? I think that this is an immutable law. The harder it is, the less likely I am to do it. That's just me personally, okay? Number two, I am a huge believer in the second step that I'm about to read to you. But to get to the second step, you have to understand the first step. They, they go in order for a reason. Step by step easy is this way I can now outsource. If I can do it and it's easy, then I can explain it to you. And if I can explain it to you, then you can explain it to someone else, right? Immutable law, it has to be easy. I don't know, in real estate today, I think people are obsessed with complicated is better. Yeah. Like it's gotta be a bigger bell and whistle with some working part and some blinky light. The best marketing I've ever seen have been stupid handwritten yellow letters. Let's be honest, handwritten yellow letters killed it forever, forever. That was great marketing, right? That was innovative at the time. Simple. If you look at the best marketing pieces you've ever seen, right? I'm sure the first magnet that went up on a refrigerator was blistering, okay? It was a blistering concept and it was easy. The first door magnet, I'm sure that guy felt stupid for about a week until it got his first listing, but it was simple. It was easy, it made sense. So I'm a huge believer in it, which takes me to rule number two. Work smart, not hard. A man I'd like to call mentor and friend, Mr. Tim Ferriss. Please, subscribe to his podcast. I don't think he needs my help. But uh, Tim Ferriss wrote The 4-Hour Workweek. We all have a copy somewhere in our house. And we all believe that at some point we're all going to read it and learn the secrets of how to have a 4-Hour Workweek. I'm going to capsulize the entire book for you here right now. Work less, get paid more. It's a tough concept to learn. The secret to life's game is to work as little as possible and to make as much money as possible. It is a philosophy that I live by and love. The reason we're in real estate is because of the free time and anybody who tells me something different is lying to me about why they're in real estate, yes. except David, who's really into it for, to see if he can win. He's in, a, he's in his own private race. There's, there's Steve Hawks, David Bartel, those guys are in their own race. And I love it when people say, I, I don't, I don't, I'm mad at them. Mad at, <laughs> why are you mad at them? Does they advertise on a bus bench because they'll cut commissions because they'll, welcome to this market kids. You will do anything, include slit your neighbor's throats to get a listing right now. And if you don't, you're crazy. You should kind of have that mindset right now. It is that aggressive out there. I am amazed. Four active, we have four active listings, right? Well, they're not active. I cannot tell you the amount of marketing that I still see show up on those four properties. I mean, it's just staggering the amount of, of marketing that's going out and mailers and just churning and just churning and the calls and they're churning 
and they're hammering it, right? So I'm a work smart, not hard guy, right? Why? The four hour work week clearly outlines the concept of outsourcing, which goes back to step one. If I now know how to do whatever it is that I do that generates my listing, right? I'm not here to promote whether or not the monster worked. It does, we will cover it in a minute. But I have a process. I can teach that process to say, let's go way out, a wildlands forest firefighter. Mm -hmm. There's an inside joke for those that have been on their coaching calls. I mean, that's as obscure and out of the real estate market as possible as I can get. This guy knows how to operate a chainsaw. That is his previous experience. You don't learn real estate by osmosis or having a sister in the business. He was able to learn the process. He was able to learn to go to the front door because it's easy. It's easy. And the easier you make it, uh, I'll give you NASCAR terminology. He who, drives the le- uh, re- he who drives less wins the race. That is the NASCAR ax- axiom. Okay? Stop fighting against it. We have a tendency, all of us, me included, making busy work to make us feel like we're doing stuff. Please, 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 please. Please stop doing that. Do something that works. Go put up some tags. Go do some door drops. Go knock on a door, for God's sakes. Okay? It's at least productive. Okay? There's a pitch for step two. And I believe in it. Step three. Be the only logical choice. So I've used this analogy before, and I don't think I've ever videotaped it, but I'll say it. I have a friend who owns a mattress store. Can you imagine you own a real estate shop? Well, David does. Um, I'll, I'll pose this to Dave. This would probably be a mind blower to Dave. Like, it's not, no different than a mattress store. Somebody walks into your store. That means that they have raised their hand and have the desire to purchase a mattress. There's no other reason to go into a mattress store. You're not lost. You're not looking for directions. I mean, that's really... That's what it is. You're there to buy a mattress. Same thing if somebody walks into a real estate place. Now, maybe they're looking for directions. That's possible. But by and large, if you walk into a real estate office, you're looking for something real estate related. If that person leaves without buying or hiring you for any particular reason, I can only say that there was a failure in the breakdown of conveying your value. Okay? Rule number three, immutable law. Unbreakable, immutable law. You must be the only logical choice for your clients. You must be. They came to you. Like, monster marketing aside, I love monster marketing. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. It's the coolest thing I've ever done, and I'm honored by all the awards, and I'm I'm blessed to have all the coaching students. It has provided for me a lifestyle that I probably don't deserve. And I continue to demonstrate it by doing stupid things like Brazilian jiu-jitsu by taking that free time. (coughs) But the reason I tell you this, that aside, right? Let's just talk about services rendered. What are you doing at the front door that you get, like, let's talk about the monster. You are overcoming the first massive objection, right? We all get that. In real estate, every cold start starts with one massive objection. Ew, you're a realtor. Ew, ew, you're a realtor. You're one of them. What's the monster do? It's overcome that problem. They invite you over. Oh, but Lee, they're not in a position. They don't really want to sell right now. Nobody does. Let me hip you up. Nobody does right now. Nobody wants to sell their home right now. Nobody does. Nobody wants to sell if they can help it. You know why? Immutable law number four, the market conditions. Nobody knows what to do about the current president. They've just now run studies and time studies on actual people staying in their houses. It's gone up by two years, correct, David? Time in house is now up by two to three years per homeowner. It's jumped. Uh, And I just talked to Darren Blumquist about this. If you don't listen to my podcast, please subscribe. Good fourth wall breakdown right there. Um, The Hanish Report. So if you listen to my podcast, I interviewed Darren Blumquist. And I said, Darren, where's the real estate going to come from? He goes, it'll it'll never catch up. It is now impossible to ever catch up to norm. They can't build them. They can't release them. They'll never catch up. 
So every realtor that's out there thinking things are going to change, it's not going to change. So what does this point to, right? What do the leverage market con- leveraging market conditions point to? It means you've got to know your niche and work your niche, right? These four laws are unbreakable. Like, I'm quite positive I've been testing this out for quite a while. These four laws, for whatever kind of marketing you want to throw at me, I can usually shoot down why I wouldn't do it based on one of these four reasons. Usually. I haven't found too many flaws to this. This is still in your... I've only been working with this for about three months, to be perfectly honest. For me to actually want to write a book or call it a complete thought on my part goes for about a year. But at this point, they're pretty immutable laws. I mean, for me personally to generate whatever result I want, forget it, we'll talk like widgets, okay? Forget real estate and getting a listing. I know that's why we're here. Let's just talk business. I need to generate a client, period, right? Whatever I'm going to do, I know it has to be simple. That way, when I can do it, then I can teach it to somebody else, right? Work smart, not hard, which goes to rule number two. When the time comes, outsource. Your one-person team becomes a two-person team or a three-person team. And if that becomes too much, then you consult with David and you go to the broker model. I mean, that's just where it's at after that. Be the only logical choice. We're going to spend all afternoon being the logical choice. I'm not going to waste a lot of your time on that. I'm a mechanic. My job is really to generate results for you. Number four, leverage your market conditions. I don't think anybody is, no, that's not true. Steve Hawks will talk about market conditions at the end of the day, forever. That's why he's at the end of the day. (laughs) We talked about moving him, we're not moving him. He's just gonna go till Steve's done. So you guys are in for a treat. I don't have any restraints on him this year. And for those of you that are local that hate Steve, who are you competing with? Like, really, that you think you're competing with the top 1% in town? Good for you. There's a reason Steve's not here all day. He's <laughs> probably out getting a listing or something. All right, so those are my four immutable laws, which takes us to what I think, for the new people, this is just for the new people, and we'll talk a little monster, and then we'll get to the updates, all right? The three steps for mo- where the new people, like you don't know Jack from anything about monster marketing, oh my God, where are you? You poor lost souls. All right, you poor lost souls. Monster marketing. <coughs> Lee, what the hell is it? Pick 36 houses, go put up a stinking monster, monster marketing piece, and go on appointments. Sounds stupid, sounds simple, right? It's really that simple. All right, so let's start with step number one, shall we? <coughs> um, selecting what data works. So we're talking niche and we're basing it on market conditions, correct? Mm -hmm. So let's go through the type of data we want from best to worst. I will rank them for you based on my own personal business. I could say firsthand now because that's my department at home. I'm in charge of figuring those things out. I'm not allowed to actually pull data. I'm just allowed to trend the data. It's so sad. It was so different before she got back involved. It really, I had so much more position in the world of real estate, and the minute she started up again, I went from, I'm below Kevin. I'm below a firefighter currently, because Kevin has the ability to go on a front door appointment and kill it, okay? Like, he kills his first appointments, kills them. All right, number one, I can't get around it. 4% of the market pre-foreclosure. Cannot get around it. I... And if you don't think other people are marketing it right now, you are not looking carefully at what your people are getting in their mailbox. They're getting cold called, they're getting door knocked, and they're getting mailed up the wazoo. Why? Because agents are starting to get desperate at this point. They're starting to recognize the situation they are currently in. Uh, I love it. Cannot. I'm in Southern California where there technically shouldn't be any, and I still love it. Problems. Yeah, like San Francisco, you get into these weird gaps. Where's stuff? There's stuff. You get into the weird gaps, right? So San Francisco might be the exception to the rule, and and maybe somewhere out in the valley is the exception to the rule. But I'd go to Oakland. I mean, you can expand your horizons enough to make it work. Um, I admit that there are certain cities. New York Central is still kind of a thing. I don't think anybody came from Chicago. Um, There are certain cities where, yeah, few and far between. But if you look at the NODs, and we are looking a lot at NODs in our own group, Two of our listings, the last two came off of notice of default. For those on the camera, let's do a quickie. List pendants and notice of default are exactly the same thing depending on where you are in the country. Notice of sale and auction are approximately the same thing. That's a note for the video. Hate to fourth wall, you guys. Notice of default and notice of sale are pretty much where it's at. I have one Florida person here. Where are you? 
There he is. Sorry. Like a hole. Yeah, 